How is the AHW universe doing? I'm Malog, and welcome back to an episode of Weekend Warriors. And so, I have changed up the shows a lot. Not really a lot, but anyway. Uh, the first match we have going is Randy Orton versus Ruthless Richard. Watch. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna watch, because I ain't gonna be playing. Playing is for sissies. Randy Orton being 14 to 24, and Ruthless Richard being 27 to 21. Alright, let's go. I'm rooting for Orton. Randy Orton defeats Ruthless Richard. In the preliminaries of the match martial arts card before 1,770 fans, Randy Orton beat Ruthless Richard by three rounds to zero. <clears throat> All right, this match we have Baby Bull versus Venice Whaler. I thought I took him out of the show. Baby Bull is 24 to 13, and Venice Whaler is 15 to 1. Who beat him? Or is he 15 to 1 already? Alright, who's gonna win this? Uh, I'm hoping for Baby Bull. No, it's not five stars. Get out five. Venice Whaler wins! In the preliminaries of the match martial arts card before 4,196 fans, Venice Whaler was awarded the decision after three rounds. Alright. 16 to 1 now. Meeting with Yap Massacre. Alright, next we have Big Bob Orson versus Jimmy Hardass. Big Bob Orson being 35 to 13. This is his 49th fight, and Jimmy Hardass is. This is his second fight only. I'm rooting for Big Bob. Big Bobby. Excuse me, but no. No. No? No. Oh my fucking god. Restart. What are you doing? There we go. In the preliminaries of the match martial arts card before 5,992 fans, Big Bob Orson beat Jimmy Hardass by four rounds to three. And next we have Puny Hamster versus Dominic Byrne. Puny Hamster being 34 to 17 and Dominic Byrne being 38 to 22, having been in 60 fights. Actually, yeah. Here we go. Puny Hamster wins once again. He is unstoppable. In the co-main event of the Matt Martial Arts Cup before 10,289 fans, Dominic Byrne lost to Puny Hamster by DQ in the second round. Alright. Alright, next match we have. Whoever wins this match will face The Undertaker in a rivalry. Theo Cortex or Theo Cortex versus Cracker. Cracker being 43 to 13 and Theo Cortex being 21 to 12. His striking isn't that good at all. Nope. No. Why is it lagging so badly? No. 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 There we go. Cracker won. Let's go. Quit. In the coming event of the Matt Martial Arts card before 15,048 fans, Cracker beat Theo Cortex by six rounds to five. I think it was a bit more than that, bub. Next, we have Gerardo Crazy Chavez versus Cody Bush. Not sure if this is the main event or not, but Cody Bush is 21 to 26 and Gerardo Crazy Chavez. Okay. Welcome to this press conference for our main event between Cody Bush and Gerardo Crazy Chavez. Gerardo Crazy Chavez, how do you intend to take that number four spot away from Cody Bush? Cody Bush may be better than me on paper, but I'm going to crumple that paper up. Cody Bush, when somebody wants your spot that badly, what can you do to hang on to it? At six foot six, I'm taller than Gerardo Crazy Chavez, and that reach will keep him at distance. We could talk about it all day, but the only thing left now is to see the fight. Thanks for attending, and don't forget to buy your ticket for Cody Bush versus Gerardo Crazy Chavez. All right, I'm rooting for Cody. Cody, Cody. 
Cody. Cook. Not five stars. Five stars. Gerardo wins. In the main event of the match, martial arts guard before 23,339 fans, Gerardo Crazy Chavez beat Cody Bush by three rounds to one. Right, here we go, the second part of this show. We have the first match being the women's championship match. I want to try to make this show a very big match, a very big show. So Emma Marquez faces Monica Marquez. Emma Marquez being 22 to 13 and Monica Marquez being 26 to 19. She has a slightly better record in a little bit ways. In a lot of ways. In ways. Up ways. Monica Marquez, no. That was not five stars. No. No, 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 no. She's keeping the title. No. No. There we go. In the preliminaries of the amount of martial arts card before 2,926 fans. That's it? Emma Marquez was awarded the decision after three rounds. Next, we have Quentin Remix versus Grease Yabata. Quentin Remix being 21-9 and Grease Yabata being 29-13. <clears throat> so Greasy about has had, had more win, has had as many wins as Quentin Remix has had to have matches. But yeah, Quentin Remix pulls the victory out of his ass. In the preliminaries of the match of martial arts card before 4,996 fan, 4, 4,966 fans, Quentin Remix made Greasy about a submit in the second round. Next we have a new woman in the division, Jeanette Corgan versus Hillary Guerrero. Jeanette Corrigan being 27 to 13, being in 40 fights, and Hillary Guerrero being 32 to 15. This is her 47th fight. That's pretty good. All right. Jeanette Corrigan wins by knockout. In the preliminaries of the Math Martial Arts card before 7,442 fans, Jeanette Corrigan knocked out Hillary Guerrero in the first round. Yikes. Alright, next match we have Todd Jewell versus Yap Massacre. Todd Jewell being 9-0 and, oh, and Yap Massacre being 26-24. to 24. I want to keep Todd Jewell's streak going as long as possible. Yeah, sometimes I don't even gotta restart the match. In the co-main event of the match martial arts card before with 12,855 fans, Todd Jewell beat Yap Massacre by stoppage in the second round. He's 10 and 0. Yeah, Massacre has been injured has injured his neck. No. Alright, next match we have Ferocious Rose versus Giraffe Neck. This was from last episode that we gotta do another rematch of it. So we have Giraffe Neck who is 20 to 18 and Ferocious Rose being 16 to 15. I need to edit her the shit out of her stats. It's stupid. Alright, I'm rooting for Giraffe Neck. All right, nice job, buddy. Any commitment of the match tomorrow? Are you serious? Why are so many people getting injured? I I had to keep restarting and restarting and restarting and restarting the union and the fucking Todd Jewel and uh, other match. Oh my god. All right, here we go with the main event: Detroit Lions Lee versus Jack Jacker. Welcome to this press conference for our main event between Detroit Lansley and Jack Jacker. Alright. Detroit Lansley, you won the last time you fought Jack Jacker. This has to boost your confidence. I'm better than Jack Jacker in every way, so it hardly seems fair this fight is taking place. Very true. After losing to Detroit Lansley, what makes you think this will makes you think this time will be any different? At 5 foot 11, I'm taller than Detroit Lansley. Yeah, probably by one inch. And at the re and at that and that reach will keep him at a distance. Fans all over the world have been waiting for this moment, and I can't believe it's happening. Thanks for attending, and don't forget to buy your ticket for Detroit Lansley versus Jack Jacker. All right. Detroit's been in 50, 62 fights. It's a hell of a lot of fights. Oh, hell no. There we go. 
In the main event of the match, martial arts card before 24,520 fans, J Detroit Lansley made Jack Jagger submit in the fifth round. Jack Jagger has developed a grudge against Detroit Lansley after that fight. Alright, well anyway, we are going to end this video here. We got the two shows that we needed to get done, done. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button with the finisher then, benevolent one, do three count. But if you disliked it, please tell me what I could do better in the next video or in the future. And bada bang bada boom bada ba ah 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 ah. Bye. Bye. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.